Hello everyone and welcome to Design of Tech once again. Uh, I am Daniel and first off I just want to thank you all for your support on my uh, Apple event videos. My Apple event videos have had, I know, hundreds of thousands of views, likes, comments, shares and yes, thank you, thank you all. Just as a reminder, I am giving away an iPhone 5C. So if you haven't seen my giveaway, uh, simply click this annotation and you will be taken to that giveaway. Also, the link is in the description down below for those of you who are on mobile. So in this video, I'm going to do something pretty, pretty interesting. This is a box and yes, this is a box, not myself, I'm Daniel, but this is a box containing the Nokia 925. In case you don't know, the Nokia 925 is the second uh, most advanced smartphone from Lumia because uh, from Nokia because uh, the most advanced phone from Nokia Nokia's flagship so to say is uh, the Nokia 1020 and this is the second best phone from Nokia so let's unbox this baby up and see what we get inside this beautiful blue and white and even red box so enjoy the video Okay, so first off, before starting the unboxing, I want to say that this video is possible thanks to Vodafone United Kingdom. So, a uh, huge thank you to Vodafone United Kingdom for sending me the Nokia Lumia 925. Now, uh, Nokia has some awesome, awesome, really, really cheap prices uh, for this phone and phone plans. So, simply click the link in the description if you want to find out more information on how to get it from Vodafone United Kingdom and also uh, how to find the cheapest prices. So, let's start the unboxing. Okay, so on the front of the box we have a uh, SIM card from Vodafone, so let me just take this off and see what else we get on the box. So once again, Nokia Lumia 925, so we get an image of how the device is, uh, how the device looks from the front, from the side, kinda. Uh, then on the right side of the device we get a capacity which is 32 gigabytes, so this is a 32 gigabytes Nokia Lumia 925 special edition. On the left hand side of the box we have Nokia Lumia 925 and yes how the device looks from the back. On the bottom we have the serial number uh, and the Nokia seal, so once the seal has been broken pretty much the box has been opened, so yeah in case you are buying this if the seal is broken just take it back because the box was opened by someone else. And on the back of the box we get a bunch of stuff. So we get a Twitter account from Nokia in case you want to check out and follow Nokia on Twitter, Facebook account from Nokia once again, uh, Nokia's Facebook page. So uh, here we can see what we get inside the box. So in the box it's the phone obviously, uh, charging cable, USB cable, headset or headphones and manual. Now like every other Nokia smartphone this one comes with Nokia Here Maps, Here Drive and Nokia Music. This phone also supports pure view, pure motion, HD+, Carl Zeiss optics and it comes with a Snapdragon CPU and yes it's a Windows phone in case you're wondering. But we'll take a look at the specs in a few moments. So enough with me talking, let's open up the box and see what we get inside the box. So uh, once again, as I said before, you need to break the seal. Uh, so in this case, since I don't have a knife, I'll try to open it with my driving license. Uh, okay, let's see, come on. Okay, I'll just take a pair of keys. So there we go, the seal has been broken. So let's open up the box and finally see uh, what we get inside the box. Okay, so let's pull the tab. And here it is, this is the Nokia Lumia 925. Now as you can see we get some more information on the inside of the box, so this is an Echo Eco box, green box, which means that it can be recycled. So this is it, this is the Nokia Lumia 925, this is how it looks. Uh, it looks pretty pretty cool, this is the black version of the Nokia 925, of course that you can buy it on different colors if you just are, I don't know, if you're racist and you don't like black for some reason. So let's put this aside for a second and see what else we get inside the box. Okay, so as you can see the first thing you see inside the box is this SIM eject tool. So let me just take it out of the box. This is how it looks, so you simply use this in order to eject the SIM card out of your Nokia Lumia 925 and as you can see it has a Nokia logo on it. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty <laughs> branded so to say. Okay, so now as you can see we can see um, an I symbol which comes from information or idiot or something. <laughs> uh, so let's take the manual out of the box. So yeah, this is the manual. Okay, let's see what we get inside the manual. So simply lift the tab and you get a bunch of stuff. So the first one is some important information about 4G LTE connectivity. And yes, in case you don't know, this phone supports 4G LTE. And the second item you get inside the box is the user manual. So in case you don't know how to use the phone, 
uh, it pretty much tells you how to you know how to use it how to turn it on how to what are the buttons so sim card micro sim slot and so on and so forth so let me know in the comment section down below by the way if you will be reading this because honestly I won't and finally in the box we get three more things so the first one is the USB cable now once again this is a micro USB cable you use this to sync and charge your uh, Nokia 920 now the second item that you get inside the box is this charger so this is the wall plug uh, obviously this is the UK model because I am in the UK at the moment so you simply plug in the USB cable on this side of the charger uh, there you go so as you can see it looks kind of weird and when you try to plug it in it doesn't fit because the hole, uh, actually the stick is, you know, too far away from the hole. And that's what she said. But good news, the plug can uh, actually transform itself. So to say, so what you want to do is simply uh, push this stick upwards and there we go. And now it fits. Perfect. And finally, the last item that you get inside the box is, well actually, yes, it's a pair of headphones. So let me just rip the plastic and take a closer look at those headphones. And this is how they look. This is how the Nokia headphones look. They're, they look honestly pretty, pretty interesting, pretty cool, pretty classy and stylish. So, you know, like pretty much every single Nokia phone. And you also get a remote, as you can see here in the video. So uh, if I press it once, I can uh, pause a song or I can answer a phone call. If I press it twice, I can deny a phone call, reject it, or go to the next song. So this is pretty much how it looks. Unfortunately, you do not get any buttons for controlling the volume, so you have to do that manually from the phone. Now you also get three different earbud sizes, large ones, medium ones, and finally small ones. So uh, whatever ear size you have, they should work for you without any problems. Well enough with the accessories and the box, let's take a look at the phone. So simply let's rip the plastic off, take the plastic out of this beauty. And there you go, the Nokia Lumia 925. This is how the phone looks from the front and uh, honestly I have to say that it feels really really solid. It has a really really solid build. Now on the front of the phone you get a couple of buttons. So you get a back button, a windows button and search button. Also this is how the phone looks from the side and to be honest it is a pretty pretty thin phone coming at at only 8.5 millimeters thick. So if we compare it with the Galaxy S4 you can see that it's pretty much the same size as the Samsung Galaxy S4. And uh, if we take the iPhone, unfortunately this is an iPhone 4S because I don't have an iPhone 5 at the moment. And in case you don't know, the iPhone 5's height pretty much goes up to this point. So even the iPhone 5 would be relatively small when compared to the Lumia 925 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. So yes, it's a pretty pretty big phone, but honestly it feels amazing in the hands. Uh, once again, it feels high quality premium unlike, I know, sorry, sorry Samsung Galaxy S4 fans, unlike the Galaxy S4 which uh, feels kind of cheap for an $800, uh, $800 phone. Now going back to the Nokia Lumia 925, once again this is the black model, you can also get this in white or grey, but uh, Vodafone decided to send me the black model, which honestly I think looks the best. So in case you don't know the phone, the Nokia 920 comes with a huge 4.5 inch display, which yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty pretty big. Now it has a resolution of 1280 by 768 which means that this is an HD display. Now in case you're wondering about the PPI, it comes with a PPI of 334, which is quite good. It's not the best PPI on the market. Uh, as you probably know, the Samsung Galaxy S4 has a PPI of 441 and the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5, basically all the iPhones from the iPhone 4 up to the iPhone 5S have a PPI of 316 PPI. So yes, uh, this one has a PPI larger than the one on the iPhone 5S. Now taking a look at the cameras, the Nokia 920 comes with a 8 megapixel, well actually 8.7 megapixel pure view camera with yes a dual LED flash and Carl Zeiss lens which is pretty pretty cool. And in case you don't know what a pure view camera is, well I will probably do a video in the next couple of days explaining that so uh, there should be an annotation on the screen or in the description of the video. But to keep it short, it's Nokia's top of the line camera. So every single Nokia Lumia phone, which comes with a PureV camera, takes some amazing shots, not only in normal lighting conditions, but also in low light conditions. So trust me, the camera is absolutely amazing. Now on the front, the Nokia Lumia 920 comes with a 1.2 megapixel front camera which can record in HD. Now once again, this is not full HD, it can record in full HD only in 
1280 by 768 resolution, which is, you know, acceptable for a front-facing camera. Keep in mind that this camera is also wide-angle, and uh, speaking of the camera, I will be doing a full camera review in the next couple of days, so uh, simply click this annotation on the screen, and even in the description for those of you who are on a mobile, and uh, yeah, simply check out that video. Also on the back of the device besides the camera you get a speaker grill and some strange looking dots. And uh, do you know what those dots are for? Well, the Nokia 925 actually supports wireless charging which means that you can buy an accessory for the 925 and charge it wirelessly. So it's, you know, pretty pretty cool. Taking a look at the sides of the device on the left side we get nothing except the aluminium band. And then on the top of the device we get a couple of stuff, so we get a microphone, we get a headphone jack, we get a micro USB port, and finally the SIM slot. And on the right hand side of the device we finally get a couple of buttons, so we get a camera button, then we get the lock, unlock, power on and power off button, and we do get a couple of volume buttons, like volume up and volume down. And then on the bottom, pretty much the same story, nothing. So yeah, this is pretty much how the phone looks from its sides. And in case you are wondering, the Nokia 925 uh, supports all those good stuff such as NFC and uh, yes, it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 dual-core CPU clocked at 1.5 GHz. Wait, what? Just a dual-core dual core CPU? Seriously, my Samsung Galaxy S4 has 8 cores. No, just don't be that kind of person, honestly. Uh, it's not the cores that matters. If you, even if you have like a, I don't know, 50 cores smartphone and you know your your Anna, your brother has like a single core smartphone you know that smartphone his smartphone could be faster than yours I mean just take a look at the iPhone 4 it only has a one core a single core uh, one gigahertz down clock at 800 megahertz CPU which you know runs pretty pretty fluid it has uh, you know no lags no you know problems no hiccups so far now the Samsung Galaxy S4 as you probably know has an eight core CPU well uh, you know, mine comes with a quad-core CPU, but you can get the 9.5.0 version, which comes with an eight-core CPU. Now, uh, now, honestly, it lags. It lags really, really, really bad. Whereas the iPhone 4, for example, uh, it has, as I said, a one gigahertz single-core CPU down clock at 800 megahertz, and it runs utterly smooth. So, honestly, 1.5 dual-core CPU is more than enough for the Nokia Lumia 925. Now, speaking of the OS's battles, fluidness and, you know, lag-free devices, I'll probably do a video called Android versus iOS versus Nokia uh, versus, sorry, Windows Phone 8, in which I will probably compare all those three operating systems. So, uh, stay tuned for that. The link should be in the description down below. Uh, and if I, for some reason, if I forget to do that video, simply remind me in the comments section down below. Now, back to the Lumia 925. It also comes with a 1 gigabytes. Uh, one gigabytes of RAM and yes Windows Phone 8 as you would expect so let's power up this device and uh, Yeah, simply you know put it up for the first time uh, Let's hope yes, it still has some juice in it So as you can see Vodafone once again, thank you to the guys from Vodafone to, for uh, for sending me this device this review device uh, Now once again the full list of prices phone plans uh, if you want to buy this phone are in the description link down below so Nokia and uh, the Windows Phone 8 logo should appear any second now. So let's set up the phone. So welcome to your Windows Phone. Choose the language, which in our case is English. Hit next, terms and conditions, blah, 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 accept. How would you like your Windows Phone configured? Recommended. And uh, yes, you do get some stuff here. So United Kingdom, Dublin, yes, uh, 4.30 p.m., that's fine. Go hit next. A Microsoft account keeps your photos, contacts, music documents and more in sync with your PC or Xbox. Uh, you also need one to buy apps and uh, back up your phone so you can even sign in or create one if you don't have an account. Fortunately, I do have a Microsoft account so I just signed in with my Microsoft account. Back up your stuff, save your photos to SkyDrive, uh, sync your text messages and back up your phone settings. Yes, almost done. You're just about... Uh, you're almost finished. Okay, let's click next. Loading. Thank you for choosing Nokia. Blah, blah, blah. Accept. And there we go. The Nokia 920 is fully operational. Now, I have to tell you that the display, the screen, is absolutely mind-blowing. The colors just pop uh, right out of the screen. The colors are so vibrant. Uh, you know, the display is an AMOLED display, so that's why the colors are so vivid. And also the blacks are extremely, extremely black, so it's one of the best displays I have ever seen on a mobile phone.
but more about the display in my full review video in which I will basically review every single feature of the Nokia Lumia 925 so stay tuned for that video. Okay so this has been pretty much it. This was the unboxing at first look of the Nokia 925. Uh, Lumia 925. So thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget, you can get this from Vodafone UK. It's really, really cheap. You can even get it for free. And I'm talking about a 32 gigabytes model in any color you want. So simply hit the link in the description to view the full phone plans and offers that Vodafone UK has to offer for the Nokia Lumia 925. Now I will also be doing a full camera review which will be as detailed as, you know, as all of my videos. So I will be covering basically night shots, macro shots, daytime shots, everything there is to cover with the back facing camera and also the front facing camera of the Nokia Lumia 925. So uh, if you haven't seen that video or if you want to see that video, the link is in the description down below and also in this annotation. Uh, so simply click the annotation or the link in the description if you are mobile and cannot click the annotation for some reason. So uh, once again, the video should be up any, any time soon. Also, I will be doing a full Nokia 925 review in the next couple of days. So once again, the link is in the description of this video and also in this annotation right here. So if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, simply click uh, this annotation or in the description once again for those of you who are mobile uh, to, you know, to see the full review of the Nokia Lumia 925. Now, in case you don't know, I'm doing an iPhone 5C giveaway. So if you haven't seen that giveaway, uh, once again, link in the description and in the annotation. Yes, I'm giving away an iPhone 5C. Thank all my viewers for hitting 11,000 subscribers. I believe we are at I know, almost 12,000 and there are almost 3.5 million views on Zenotech, which is simply mind-blowing. And keep in mind that I started this channel just, you know, a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's just awesome. Thank you again. Thank you once again. So finally, a huge thank you goes to Vodafone United Kingdom for sending me the Nokia Lumia 925. Once again, full phone plans and offers are in the description link down below. And this has been pretty much it. This was the unboxing and first look of the Nokia Lumia 925. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, uh, simply hit the like button down here. It pretty much tells me that you enjoyed this video and I'll keep making more videos like this one. Also, if you want to see more Nokia Lumia 925, Samsung Galaxy S4, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, whatever tech videos you want to see, let me know in the comment section down below which of these videos you want to see. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Zone of Tech. It is free, you don't have to pay for anything to subscribe to my channel. And uh, you'll get to see my latest and greatest videos on the world of tech. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter via Zone of Tech. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in, uh, in my next video. And until then, you know, like as always, Zone of Tech, signing out. Cheers.